go. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of review today. Uh, we're gonna start off with Law of Conservation of Momentum, this good old thing. Um, and that just says the momentum at the beginning is gonna be equal to the momentum at the end. Yeah. Um, and so what we have is we have before an event happens, maybe I throw a bowling ball on a skateboard or I push someone. Um, and then after um, we have, you know, momentum I'm going on. Yeah. Um, but throughout this entire event, momentum is, con throughout this entire process, the momentum is conserved before and after. Yeah. Okay. Um, an explosion. Uh, the momentum, the momentum before and after is zero. Zero. We had an explosion okay. yesterday, didn't we? We did. Um, and this, uh, so we have our skateboard here. And at the very beginning, it was me, skateboard, and the bowling ball. <laughs> this guy right here. And now you're free to move on that skateboard. Yeah, That's I'm, kind of the danger about the whole thing, yeah, isn't I'm it? Yeah, I'm free to move on here, which makes me a little bit nervous. So I'm not going to get too far away from the wall because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not cool like the cool kids who ride skateboards. Yeah. But I'm still cool, right? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't answer that question. Okay. So uh, I'm free to move this way, and the bowling ball is free to move, right? Right. So how come when I throw it this way, when I when I hurl it that way, how come the bowling ball goes this way and I fast and I go this way slow? Yeah, what you're not pushing on anything, but the ball. How come the bowling ball goes that way? Yeah, I'm not pushing anything. Well, how come it goes this way? Yeah. Um. So while well, I'm exerting a force on it, right? I'm physically throwing it this way, but the bowling ball um, has mass. So do I. And therefore, both the bowling ball and me have inertia, right? Oh, yeah, inertia. And who has more mass, me or the bowling ball? Uh, you. I do have more mass <laughs> than the bowling ball. And so what happens is I'm going to resist the change in motion more than the bowling ball is. And well, yeah, you push on the bowling ball. It's a heavy old bowling ball. It says, you can't push me around, sucker. Yeah, and so it pushes back on me. That's right. Right? And so when I throw it this way, it pushes back ball goes that way at a pretty fast speed <laughs> and I go back this way um because the the inertia of the bowling ball resisting the change is like no don't do it and it yeah. pushes me back a little bit yep right um, equal in magnitude opposite in direction exactly and how is that like our rocket here uh, we talked about that yesterday right in fact I'm actually going to turn it this way um, the rocket is just like me on the skateboard, right? And the, the hot gas that um, explodes out this way is kind of like a whole bunch of little mini bowling balls. That's right. And um, the bowling balls um, go this way. The rocket goes this way. But why? Um, because forces come in pairs. Um, the, the gas has mass. Um, so does the rocket. Um, and the gas shoots this way. It has inertia. It pushes back in the rocket. Push it this way. Um, so... It's a simple idea. Yeah, and, and, and what you what you see here is Newton's first law, inertia, yeah. um, kind of interacting with um, Newton's third law, yeah. forces come in pairs, right? They're all interrelated. We having a light show here now. You guys, you can't see this, Ms. Moore, but there's something going on with the projector here. Oh, really? Look at this. Oh my goodness, what the heck? No I wonder idea. I wonder if they're gonna be able to see that. I am sure they will. Fun stuff. Okay. Um, Attention span challenge, as if it wasn't hard to focus with the light without the light show going on. Okay, um, so you guys are gonna go to um, page two hundred ten, which I believe we're still in chapter chapter nine. nine yeah. Chapter nine, and I'll I'll link that into the um, canvas for cam, canvas for you. Um, read from explosions, which is gonna be right here. Okay, all the way until two eleven. Okay, right before explosions in space. You're gonna stop right there. Although if you read all the way to the bottom of the page, it won't kill you. No. It's, <laughs> It's actually kind of helpful. So, um, pause so, the video mm -hmm. and do that. Okay. Have you done it? Go do it. Okay, come back. Um, okay, so um, my question for you guys is, why do rocket motors work in space? I think this could be, should we put this in part of the homework or should we just talk about it? Well, I think they should write an explanation in their notes. If we were in class, you could write it in a journal. You don't have a journal. You could write it in your notebooks. Mm -hmm. Can so, you write this down? Yeah, do this in your notebook right now. Why do rocket motors work in space? And we already talked about how it's like the skateboard, me and the skateboard and the bowling ball. Psh, 
shh, don't give it away, don't give it away, don't give it away. We talked about, dot, dot, dot. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set you guys loose here. You're gonna go to page 214 and you are going to do uh, numbers 13. 14. And 15. 13, 14, and 15, page 214, chapter nine. All right. Go get them.